the bottom of the sea. When the entire sky catches on fire, the burning Van Allen belt threatening to destroy the universe. You are there in a deadly rain of disintegrating icebergs. Ah! Not even the soaring imagination of a Jules Verne could have dreamed of such a fantastic adventure in an atom-powered submarine that defies description. You've seen the brain of the sub. In here is the heart, the atomic motor room. There is more destructive force in this room than in all the explosives used in World War II. With a cast as exciting as the wonders they encountered. Walter Pigeon. We hope to see sights never before seen by man. Joan Fontaine. I say, the belt will burn itself out. At 173 degrees, it will burn itself out. Barbara Eden. <laughs> Peter Laurie. Sounds like sucrose. Nothing is impossible. Robert Sterling. If I'm to meet your deadline at the Marianas, I need fighters, not fatalists. Michael and Sarah. And Frankie Avalon. With due respect, sir, I think your judgment's been a little rocky lately. Why, you gold-bricking pipsqueak. You are there when the United Nations is thrown into a turmoil. The burning belt must be exploded clear of the Earth's magnetic field. And we have exactly 16 days and three hours in which to do it. Explode the belt and you explode the world! You are there when the frogmen battle a mammoth squid. You are there when Barbara Eden dances to Frankie Avalon's hot rhythms. You are there in outer space to see the Earth encircled in fire. You are there when the mini-sub threads a life and death course through the minefields. You are there when the giant of the sea attacks. You are there in the most startling underwater pursuit ever filled.